this country stands on the edge of oblivion. I want everyone to remember why they need us. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Revenge is a bitter pill that's hard to swallow, but its thrilling subject matter fueled countless movies, some of which have even grown into popular franchises. The best revenge stories are incredibly personal tales where these excessive acts of vengeance feel justified in their own way and the audience is forced to reckon with confusing feelings. In this video, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best revenge movies of all time. Number 10. Mandy. In probably the most important film in the resurgence of Nick Cage's career, Panos Cosmatos's Mandy is a visually stunning revenge flick. In Mandy, a happy couple's lives are destroyed when a cult of hippie drug addicts and their demon biker henchmen kidnap and brutally murder Red Miller, Cage's wife, Mandy, right in front of him, and leave him for dead. After having a mental breakdown, Red retrieves his old crossbow from a friend, Bill Duke, and fashions his own weapons to take with him on an incredibly gory revenge ride. This film starts off in a very artsy and psychedelic fashion, then flips the script into a brutal, bloody, wild ride. Cage's acting is top form in this flick, and he has one of the best performances of his career. Number 9. The Equalizer. Denzel Washington brilliantly captures the role of a lethal vigilante seeking cold hard justice in the gripping action film The Equalizer, delivering a tour de force performance as a former intelligence agent who is compelled to take a stand against the Russian mafia after a teenage prostitute is assaulted. Robert McCall finds his quiet, reclusive life disrupted when a girl he befriends is brutally beaten by her pimp, reigniting a powerful yet dangerous fire within him that leads him to take matters into his own hands and take on the violent crime boss. The overwhelming popularity of The Equalizer led to a successful sequel in 2018, with a third follow-up set to for release in 2023 with Washington's Man on Fire co-star Dakota Fanning also appearing. Number 8. John Wick. John Wick wanted to leave his past as an assassin behind and grow old with his wife. But, when she dies of cancer, she leaves behind a beagle puppy so that John doesn't have to grieve alone, giving him a final glimmer of hope after losing the only person he loved. But, when thugs break into his house and kill the puppy, his hope is snuffed out, and his rage takes over, setting a bullet-riddled path to avenge his lost friend in a world that wouldn't leave him alone. John Wick boasts a great cast including Willem Dafoe, Ian McShane, and John Leguizamo, and reunited Reeves with producer, directors Chad Stahlski and David Leach, who worked with him on the Matrix trilogy. Reeves also performed about 90% of his own stunts in this gun-fu action film. Number 7. Upgrade. In Lee Wanell's underrated and underseen science fiction film Upgrade, Logan Marshall Green plays Gray, a man who becomes paraplegi. See after he and his wife are victims of a gang shooting. Gray accepts the help of a famous techno engineer and has a state-of-the-art microchip placed in his neck, which takes complete control of his physical functions, not only allowing him to walk and move again but making him a violent force of nature, trained in several fighting styles. Gray then hunts down his wife's killers to get to the bottom of who was behind the attack. Number 6. Taken. A retired CIA operative and divorcee, Liam Neeson, listens helplessly as his estranged daughter is abducted half the world away. Then, with her kidnappers listening, he gives a deadly warning, let her go or die. Parents who see Taken won't find it challenging to connect with the stoic father. What parent doesn't think of the lengths they'll go to protect their kids? Though Neeson did a great job, performed most of his own stunts, and the film produced two sequels, it was actually Jeff Bridges who was picked for the role. It wasn't until he dropped out that Neeson was hired on. Number 5. V for Vendetta. In the political action revenge film V for Vendetta starring Hugo Weaving and Natalie Portman, a freedom fighter known as V goes on a killing streak to dismantle the British tyrannical government that wronged him many years prior. Based on a graphic novel written by Alan Moore, both Weaving and Portman give fantastic performances, capturing their characters' personalities flawlessly. The Guy Fox mask that V uses in the film is now synonymous with the hacker group, Anonymous, and many groups fighting against government injustices. Number 4. Unforgiven. In the critically acclaimed revisionist Western Unforgiven, legendary silver screen star Clint Eastwood portes an aging gunslinger and retired outlaw who is brought back into the fold to help a young man seek revenge on the cowboys responsible for disfiguring a prostitute. After being approached by aspiring gunman the Schofield Kid, repentant widower William Money, Eastwood, reluctantly agrees to take a final job with the help of longtime partner Ned Logan, 
Morgan Freeman, in order to claim the $1,000 bounty. The trio must square off against the corrupt sheriff Little Bill Daggett, Gene Hackman, and fellow bounty hunters to avenge the attack on the prostitute. The Oscar-winning picture features superb performances by its A-list cast and delves into the complexities of retribution and violence from differing character perspectives. Number 3. Old Boy. A loudish drunk finds himself imprisoned with nothing but a bed and a TV, on which he watches the news that his wife was murdered and that he is the prime suspect. With nothing but time, Oh Day Su, Choi Min Sik, spends the next 15 years thinking of revenge. Then, he is mysteriously set free. What follows is a mystery to discover who imprisoned him. With brutal action and a shocking twist ending, Old Boy is the perfect story of revenge and punishment as the viewer gradually realizes that not only why Dae Su was imprisoned, but why he was set free. Number 2. Memento. Even if you get revenge, you're not gonna remember it. You're not even gonna know that it happened. Who did this to you? You did. In this head-spinning adventure from Christopher Nolan, Leonard, Guy Pierce, sets out to avenge the murder of his wife. However, he suffers from short-term memory loss and must write notes that lose all meaning after falling asleep. This winding tale in Memento follows two threads that reveal tiny morsels of the puzzle as Leonard struggles to find his wife's killer. One thread plays the sequence of events backward, while a thread in black and white flays forward. Both end in a surprise ending that is not easily forgotten. The twists are great, and still just as effective, more than 20 years later. Number 1. Gladiator. Maximus, Russell Crowe, was a renowned Roman general loved by all, including the aging emperor, who named him his successor to rule as regent. Unfortunately, this results in a coup that sees the emperor's son kill his father and condemn Maximus and his family to death. When the general is unable to save his wife and son, he is captured and sold as a gladiator to fight until he dies. This leads him to face his family's killer once more as it brings him to the Roman Colosseum, where Commodus, Joaquin Phoenix, holds the gladiator games. Now able to look his enemy in the eyes once more, and with his men still behind him, Maximus prepares to take his vengeance. Gladiator was nominated for 12 Academy Awards, winning 5, including Best Picture and Best Actor, but many feel Joaquin Phoenix was snubbed as Best Supporting Actor, as he gave one of the best villain performances in film history.